the disciple James, right? He looked just like you. He had a black face just like you. You understand? So who this is, is a man that's of your nation. This is Jesus the Christ. Right, right. that's right. Of the nation of Israel, of the tribe of Judah. That's right. But let me show you, let me, let me clear it up. That's not how he directly looked. That's just a description. I'm gonna show you that description in here, all right? You understand what I'm saying, James? Check this out, brother. What, what, what so-called nationality are you? Like if you was to go fill out a job application, what would you put down as your ethnicity? Black. Black? Black, black man? Okay. So, where did in the Bible God ever call anybody black? Where is that? Where did God call anybody in the Bible a Haitian? Where did God in the Bible call anybody an African American? Where's the word Africa in the Bible? I'm going to tell you straight. Brothers, we study for our people so that they can learn as well. You won't find the, you won't find those words of being an African American such and such from Genesis to Revelations. You won't find that. Right. Right. So what you gotta understand is who called you these names? The white man. That's right. right. The so-called white man. He's red. You understand? Right. Your oppressor. Right. So this is what your oppressor did as well. He took the true description. Let's read that. Revelations. Come on. I right. give you the biblical description of what Jesus the Christ looked. And what we do is. You gotta compare this one from this one, from what we're reading. You believe in the Bible? All praises to the Most High. So if you believe in the Bible, you're gonna believe everything that's in it, right? I'm gonna show you God's yeah. word. Here we go, read. Revelation chapter one and verse 14. Verse 14, read verse one real quick. Verse one, the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word revelation means the revealing of Jesus Christ, meaning I'm gonna show you exactly what Jesus Christ looked like and who he is and how he is, how he is right? right? Characteristics of Jesus Christ. Right. You understand? So right. hold on, real quick, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna let you talk. I just wanna stress this to you. Read that. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Listen up, James, uh huh? Which God gave unto him. See, look, God gave John the Revelator this revelation. So it came from God, what we gonna explain, right? So besides what I'm saying or what no white man is saying or anybody saying what you're saying, God gave this, right? Read. To show unto his servants. You don't understand yet, but you are one of Christ's servants. Right. God's servants. Right. Understand? You are God's servant. So the Lord wrote this to John. He told this to John so John can write this to you to understand. Yeah, you can find this in the Bible, bro. You can find this in the Bible, James. What this is, is a prophecy that would happen to us as a punishment for not doing God's commandments. Right. Like this, you, you have any kids? Okay, so look, when you was growing up in your parents' house, right, if you didn't do what they tell you to do, what happened? You get what? You get beat up or punished, right? That's what God did to his children. Right. A lot of people like to think with the Bible that everybody is God's children, because he created all things, right? But when you read, in the Bible, you actually find out that God only chose one people on earth. Right. And that's us. His head and his hair. So now it's given a description of a man. He said his hairs, right? Like we got, and his, his head and his hairs, right? It's talking about the head and his hairs. Read. Well, white, white wool. Do you see, you remember this picture, right? Throughout the whole world, right? Who is this to you right now? Supposedly Jesus the Christ, right? I say supposedly, right? But the Bible describes Christ's hair, the, the, this man right here, his hair, white like wool, white like wool, his head and his hairs. This is long stringy hair, blonde hair and blue eyes. You understand that? So that's strike one. You understand? That's strike one. So now look over to this picture. This is why we say description. This is not what Jesus the Christ looked like. But so that you can get a visual, we have this right here. So read that verse again. His head. His head, right here. Read, look, and, right, uh -huh. and his hair. And his hairs, he had a beard because when Christ was on the cross, they ripped the beard off of his face. Right, read on, read on, come on. Were white like wool. They were white like wool. Why does it say like wool? Because it was like the texture of wool. Now, does he have woolly textured hair? Does he have woolly textured hair as a description right here? So now I want you to realize something. Do, look at yourself real quick. Do you not, and do we not, look at us real quick. Do we not have woolly textured hair? What is woolly textured? Kinky. Right. So hold on. This right here is different from what is put out in the world. Guess right. what? If you know that Christ is in this Bible and he looked like you, you have a sense of 
pride and a sense of what what are some of the words? Um love for yourself. Look, hold on real quick. I know you got a lot to say, bro. I just want to stress this to you. I'm gonna let you talk straight. Listen, 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 listen. I'm trying to teach you something, all right? If I see Christ in you, I'm gonna love you. Right. Because I should see this man in you, and I do already. So if you in error, I'm gonna say, hey, listen, brother, God said that he made you in his image. You have to have a beard on your face. Right. And I want you to get the kingdom of heaven. Do you eat pork? You don't eat pork? Good. Because the laws of God say that you're not supposed to eat pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster. You're special. Listen, listen, listen. It's okay. You're going to learn that. You're a special people. You understand? So God gave you certain ways and statutes to run this earth and be on this earth as royalty. Right. Because we're royalty. We're a holy people to him. Right. Read on. Come on. Come on. That's not it on this. Right. Check this out. Read as what? As snow. As white as snow. You don't see this in the earth. Right. Read on. In his eyes. In his eyes. What was his eyes? See, look, he's giving a description of Jesus to Christ. Read. Were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire because Christ, he drank wine in moderation. He didn't get drunk and be all crazy like how your Judite friend is. He didn't get crazy like that. Christ, he drank wine in moderation. One of his first miracles was what? He turned water into wine. You remember that, don't you? Read on. Come on. In his feet. In his feet. Look, he got his feet, right? Read. Like a divine bread. It said, remember it says like. It's saying because it looks like unto fine. What is the color of brass? Brown. Brass. You see like brass, right? Like brass brown, right? Like my skin. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. So Christ's description, his skin color, it said was brass as if it burned in a what? In a furnace. If you put white rice in a fire, What's it going to burn to? It's going to be black. Bring it out. So check this out. Right. What you got to understand is this right here is the image of the beast that was spoken of in the book of Revelation. That's right. right. You remember the image of the devil? We, we think that the devil is a red man under the ground with horns and wings and a tail. The devil has been living amongst us for many a years. That's Bring right. it out. Listen, he's been deceiving us for years. Give me John chapter 8 verse 32. I'm going to show you something. Christ said this. He said, you're going to know the truth that you're really an Israelite. Right. And not a so-called black man, right? Right. And that you really an Israelite. They call me Levi. See, you know your tribe. Okay, I thought no, I so. Didn't know. He I thought me Levi. I'm like, what the Right, right, right. Because you so-called you come from the um country or the island of Haiti, right? Hispaniola, right? Okay, so look, your blood that runs through your veins will take you all the way back to Moses. Right. Moses, our father Moses. He was a very important prophet. Eleazar, the prophet Aaron. You right, understand? Right. Your foremother Miriam. Those are your forefathers. See, look, if you know this connection, when you look into this Bible, you see your history. Right. And that's what we're trying to stress to our people is that this is really our history book. That's this right. This is not a white man's book. Many brothers right now that's waking up to understanding in these last days that there is a John chapter 8, verse 32. Here we go. John chapter 8, verse 32. We're going we to show you the right example on how to be an Israelite, okay? So just listen up, bro. Listen. And ye shall know the truth. Look, that's one of the lies that you learned because Christ said you're going to know the truth. Christ understood that when he died, that another man or another nation of people would take his face and put it their own. That the white man would come and take their face and put it on him. You right. understand? Let me answer that question. Uh -huh. The Bible said that Jesus prayed, that God prayed as Jesus in the world. And he didn't see God in the world. God in the world. Okay, come on. Yeah. So so I I see they not all I won't say it's racism but stop, that thing's still real. Yeah. But my question is like you say that you have a choose Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay. You done? Okay, here we go. God never created a black person. God never created a white person. The reason why I'm saying that today is so that you can know exactly who I'm talking about. But the truth is, is that on this earth, you have a certain people that are being treated bad. You understand? And you have another certain other people that's being treated better than others. You understand? Right, yeah. Because the land that we live on is 
the white man's land. You understand? Right. Did you come to America and say, I'm going to build a house? No. You have to come, you had to come under being an American, you understand? So who are the original Americans? The white person. So, hold on, no, no, no. What, 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 that's what I'm saying, okay. Who call themselves America today? The government, the white man, right? So what you're gonna understand is this. God separated everybody on earth. We're gonna read it real quick, read on. Because he created all people, right? If God wanted us to be one people, why didn't he just make everybody look alike? He didn't want that. Did you create people? God did, right? So God picks and chooses what he want to do. And out of all the nations of the earth, he chose one nation. You right. have to accept that he chose your nation. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. Bring it out. When the most high. When who? When the most high. Who's the most high? God. Read on. Come on. Divided to the nations. He divided to the nations what? The inheritance. Each nation on earth has an inheritance, a land that they dwell. And that's where they live. You understand? You have the Africans, they dwell over there. You have the Chinese, they go over there. Right. Each person has their own country. You understand? Read on. When he separated the sons of Adam. He separated the sons of Adam. That's of Adam. Us. You understand? Read on. He set the bounds of the people of... Read on, read on. Of the people according to the number of children of Israel. Read that part again. He set the bounds of the people. God set the bounds of the people, meaning the borders of the people, right? Their lands of the people, read, meaning their, uh, their, their number of growth, each nation. You understand? Read. According. According to what? To the number of the children of Israel. God said that we would be of the sands of the sea. You right. understand? We'd be an innumerable number. He said he set the bounds of the nations to not exceed the number of the children of Israel. Right. right. No, don't go nowhere. Keep reading right there. I'm going to show you why. Read. For the Lord portion. For the Lord's portion. If you have a portion, that's your possession, right? Yeah. So this Bible is saying God's portion is who? Is his people. Is his people. What else? Hold on. It said God's portion is his people. So now, is it everybody? Let's see what the Bible is going to say. Read. Jacob. What? Jacob. Who is Jacob? You're looking at the 12 tribes of the nation of our father, Jacob or Israel, right, right. here. Right. It says Jacob is what? Is the lot of his inheritance. Okay, so I want you to read the verse again and I want you to read it, read it again so you can see it. Read. For the Lord portion is his people. The Lord's possession is his people. What else? Jacob, Jacob, read. Is the lot. Is the lot, meaning his possession, read. Of his inheritance. The his is who? Hold on, let's go to the verse real quick. It says, who is the his right here? No, 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 no. Read the verse again. Come on. For the Lord's portion. We talk, the topic is the Lord. The Lord, right? Read. For the Lord's portion Fine. is his people. The Lord's portion is his people. This is who God's people is. Read. Jacob. Who? Jacob. It's telling you Jacob is the Lord's portion. You understand? You see that? Read. Look, I'm going to show you real quick. Look. Look. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his, meaning God's, inheritance. So guess what? God's possession are the children of Jacob, the children that's of right. Israel. That's, right. that's us, right. Us. And that's not the only place you read that. I'm going to show you more proof. Hold on, wait a minute. What it is is that we America has taught you to accept everybody while they're still gunning you down on the street. Right. America has, has taught you to accept everybody while they still give you less jobs. Right. right. America has taught you to accept everybody while you still have inferior health care. Right. right. Inferior jobs. Right. Inferior education. Right. right. So they have the best while you just settle for less. That's right. right. And that's not what God wants you to do. Bring he wants up. you to realize how special you are to him. Bring it out. You understand? And that's our message is that Above what you've been taught in America, you're above all people on the earth. Give me that back again in uh, Joel chapter Shout 2, out. verse 27. Shout Joel 2, 27. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So it's not racism, it's the truth. Biblically speaking, God said that you're better than all nations, that you're above all nations. You have to understand that in America. Because yes, we have to go and get their jobs, it's because that's our punishment. At once, we gave out the jobs. We were ruling in our kingdom. And now God wants us to get back to that. 
We cannot be comfortable here in America. You can't be comfortable as a Haitian because God ain't gonna come back to save a Haitian. He don't know what a Haitian is. So, do you believe in God? You gotta go back to what God say do. You understand? Right. That's what we're trying to get you to do, is realize exactly what God is saying and be obedient to God. That's our message. That's the message of the Bible. Read that, come on. Joe, let's get it again in the Bible, read. Joel chapter two and verse 27. Read it out. Straight and study it for yourself. From Genesis to Revelations, you only gonna find that God only loved one people. Right. And that in America, they take this Bible and say it's for everybody. Right. But that's not so. That's why you have to understand the message that your fathers wrote to you. Understand? The world takes this Bible and they don't understand this Bible at all. Right. But you do. Why? Because it was written to you. It was written by your forefathers and it's only for you. Right. That's, that's right. what we're trying to teach and show our people. It's a message. It's a letter to you. Right. The connection to you. Right. You have to accept that. You right. have to accept that you are the son of God. That's right. right. You understand? That your blood will take you back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Christ is your forefather, your forebrother. Right. You understand? So white people came from? Huh? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that too. What about the white people? Read this. Let's see about you. Read this real quick. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And you shall know. And what? You shall know. Look, because we don't know. Right now, you kind of, you may not know. It says, ye shall know, read. That I am in the midst of Israel. That you is talking about who? God. That's who the I is right here. That I am in the midst of who? Israel. Wait, who? Israel. I thought everybody on the earth. Lord Jesus, why can't you be in the midst of everybody on the earth? Because he don't want that. Right. 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 Read on. And that I am the Lord. And that, hold on, gotta read that slow, bro. That he is the Lord, what? That I am the Lord, your God. Wait a minute, that's possessive. He said, Israel, I'm the Lord, your God. Read. Right. right. And none else. Read it again that's and I want you to explain it for me, okay? Out of the context of the Bible, not my words, because I'm just expressing it to you what's read. I want you to explain what it's saying. Read that again. Come on. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. Right, come on. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. Explain that James. I know you got this. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you right about that. No, hold on. No, no. Wait a minute. I'm not right. Right. The Bible, God is right. That's right. right. He's correct. It's not my words. It's right there. Hold on. I'm going to go to the New Testament. You believe on Jesus? Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. Bring it out. I'm going to show you what Jesus, the Christ, the true description of this man right here, him, what he said. Read. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. That's all right. That's all right. But he answered and said, I am not sent. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who sent God? I mean, who sent Christ? Excuse me. Who sent Christ? God, right? So Christ was sent. Reading out of the Bible. Christ was sent. Read, he said, Christ said, I am not sent, read, but, but, that means only, right, read, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that again. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What's your nationality? You said so-called Haitian, right? Yeah. I'm going to show you that you, compared to all your other brothers and sisters of your nation of Israel, we are a lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Why are we right. lost? Because by the word of God, we are truly called the Israelites. Right. Right. But we're lost right. in being called African American. Right. We're lost being called Jamaican. Right. You understand? Being called American. Right. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? And so we've been taught the ways of the white man. Right. I say white man so you know, because listen, Christmas is not in the Bible. Right. That was the custom of the white man. You understand? Right. Or, hey, here we go. The Caucasian, the red man. <laughs> the Bible says that his name is not white. He's Idumian. Right. He's an Edomite. Right. right. His name is Esau. Right. That's his biblical name. Everybody has a biblical description on the earth. All nations, right? Where the white man come from, he's of the nation of Edom. Right. Edom. Edom. Let's see what God said about Edom. Let's hold on. Edom. Esau. It means, in Hebrew, it means red. Right. right. Red. Because he's not white. He's not pure. We are pure. You understand? That's the deceit of the devil. He have you thinking that the devil is pure and that those that are good or black is evil. Right. You're not an evil person. I know you have a sincere heart. I know a lot of our people in our nation are sincere people. Right. But we have been taught wrong in America. Right. We have been taught lies in slavery. Right. On yeah. Haiti, on Hispaniola, in the Dominican Republic, on Cuba. We've been taught slave ways of the slave master. Right. You understand? 
We was taught Christmas. So read that what you had. Um, go to Romans chapter 9, verse 13. I'm going to show you real quick. Check this out. Read it out. Check this out. Check this out. So is it just my words I'm saying? Because God chose one people, and he said everybody else, they're insignificant. You have to accept that special gift, that right. special choice of God. He What's said, up? He said Say it again? Are you talking about in our history? A part no, of our history? That, okay, I'm from, sorry, I'm trying to try to at least uh <laughs> chew up. Uh -huh. Say that every time it's black and white that get married and have kids, mm -hmm. when the time comes, the organ will sit in the Oh, okay. Right, right, right. That's an Isaiah. He said, That's uh, an Isaiah. Yeah, he yeah. said, uh, I'm thinking of the yeah. to white woman. Yeah. The, the, the people from Israel, like when I say, you need to know that is actually. Yes, that's what he, what, because uh, the brother explained that to you, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what's going to happen because what's going to happen is in the last days, you're going to see Christ the Messiah come out the sky looking just like this. You right. understand? And that's why everybody is going to go back to their own people. It's because how this world was taught, how this Bible was taught in the world was false. It was religion. Right, right. So the prophecy of what the brother explained to you, I'm not going off his teaching. What I want to show you is that in the Bible, check this out. Everybody is going to have to go back to their own nationality. Right. And take care and love their own people. Right, right. You have to love yourself before you can love your people. Don't worry about other nations, you right. understand? We got to take care of ourselves because only on our nation do we have another brother kill another brother over music. Bring it out. Over right. rims. Over red and he's wearing blue. Bring it out. You understand? Bring it out. So we have to love each other and come back and gather ourselves together in God's command. Right. So that's why we're teaching this. You understand? Because there's a message that God wants us to understand. We're special. Go to, I love this scripture. Go to Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6 real quick. This is your mission, brother. You got to learn God's commandments. You understand? You got to keep his commandments and teach and raise up your people. Right. Because you may leave here today, but guess what? You being an Israelite is still going to be on you. Whether you believe it or accept it or not, you are an Israelite of the tribe of Levi. Right. That's right. That's your nationality. That's, That's right. what God is seeing. Right. And so you have to act like an Israelite. Right. You have to talk and be and have the behavior of an Israelite. Right. right. Because that's what God created in you. Read this report. Uh -huh. Read that. Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 6. Uh -huh. And he said, it is a light thing. So what are we out here to do? We're here to teach you something called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that according to the Bible, you must repent as Israelites and keep God's commandments. That's, that's right. right. That's the love of the Bible. Read on. That thou shouldest be my servant. It's a light thing that God chose us to be his servants. What do God's servants do? They do exactly what their master tell them to do. You right. understand? God told you that today is his Sabbath day. Right. You right. understand? You don't buy, you don't sell, you don't cook. Right. God yeah. told you that today in particular is his day of atonement. Right. Where right. we fast and we ask the Father for forgiveness of our sins through right. the whole year. That's right. right. We have to come back to our High Holy Day never gave right. us Christmas. Right. Right. God gave us Hanukkah. Right. Right. God never gave us New Year's. Right. He gave us the beginning of the year, which is a time of Passover. You understand? Right. Right. God gave us the new moons. You understand? Right. God gave us the Sabbath day. Right. God never gave us Valentine's Day. Right. Right. You learned that in America by your slave master. Right. Right. God never gave us Easter. Right. You learned that by your slave master. Right. Right. God never gave us St. Patrick's Day. Right. right. You learned that from your slave master. That's right. So God said this to you so-called Black Hispanics and Native American Indians. He said this, that you have to come back to his laws and statutes. And be thou not the oppressor right. and choose none of his ways. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC 
will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube channels. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.